Sometimes I dream about cheese. <laughs> Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Oh, wow. I'm chilly! Someone close the door! It's a window! Yeah. Window, you dumbass! <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad Good I just finished this entire... Good job. <laughs> he walks in. Oh my god. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. If it isn't my favorite student, Harlan. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sports and complete... Fuck. Compete in the broom cooking arena. What's that? Broom? Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. <clears throat> Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on a fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Hold on. Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. He looks like Who's... the guy from Ratatouille. <laughs> 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 he does! He kind of does, actually. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Yeehaw. Let... <laughs> Let me... Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable! Even Clang made it on time, rolling halfway across the town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is re referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. God has abandoned me! <laughs> <laughs> The class bursts into laughter. <laughs> oh, Clank, you rascal. His favorite. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for all new star students. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You mean Vlor? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary curation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! <laughs> how are you? How are you not in fucking school? Wow. Be honest. Did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. Uh. I know you are smart, but I have to confess, I've been fucking my sister. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> that right there, that, that's, that's the end that, that's going in the trailer, guys. Sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, 
but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah. And I was just, like, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled some dick. <laughs> Something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry a chicken so tender. Another dimension, along with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, float weightlessly. What should I like that sometimes? Though. What should I do? I have no idea. Uh, savior the uh, moments. Try to identify savior every the moments. Swim towards the light because you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Do the Swim first towards one. the light. Do the first one. This one. All right, we're yes. doing the first one, boys. Okay. I want the third one. I want the third one. Oh well. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt, maybe. Pepper, too obvious. Oregano, basil, maybe. But there's something else. Something dark, something spicy. You dig deeper, deeper, deeper. Yes, oh, even yeah. deeper oh, still, yeah. until you find it. Wait. Could it be? Come. <laughs> <laughs> He really did it. How bold, how adventurous to use. Come. <laughs> <laughs> you try to go even deeper into the sea of flavors, but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret. And yet, now you know, a mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fail, Chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the slave owner. I am bold to come out and ask. <laughs> It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my my fortune <laughs> and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. How would it? <laughs> Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the slaves, and I think about how my story will continue on after I graduate. Now that you've caught his attention, the flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery was all perfect. I appreciate the compliment, Ninja. <laughs> what did you say to me, you little shit? <laughs> I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. The sexual kind? The sexual kind? We just head back inside. Learn to fuck them. Next lesson starts soon. Whoa. Oh, Whoa, there Carl goes Sanders. censorship. <laughs> Boys, we're getting, we're getting age restricted now. Oh, looks like things are getting pretty hot around here. <laughs> Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? The fuck you say to me, you little <laughs> shit? <laughs> We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business. And you better keep your fingers off my cock. <laughs> no way. No. No. Oh Did someone call for me? I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Doubt it. <laughs> Sounds like the dude from 300. <laughs> <laughs> oh, out the sun. Don't be rude, Van Van. 
Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I make a, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned the fuck itself you say to me, you as your shit? <laughs> as your <station. laughs> Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together. <laughs> like Please a warm me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>